Good morning, everyone. In our last lecture, we have discussed about the near point of convergence, and in this video, we will discuss about the near point of accommodation. And we have also learned about that how can we find the amplitude of accommodation with the RF rule. So let's start the procedure. We need two adjustable chairs, one for the patient and one for the examiner. And this occluder for the monocular test. And most importantly, this RF rule. And we need a proper illuminated room. And a pen and a paper to record the values. The near point of accommodation is the point nearest to the eye where a person can use maximum accommodation with a clear image of an object on the retina. So we have a patient of 22 years of age and he is already using glasses of minus 1.5 spherical correction. And we have to put his glasses on to carry out the test. So in our last video we have discussion, we have discussion, a detailed discussion on this rolling target. And now the standard target for the near point of accommodation is the near chart. You can see the four lines, the N5, the N8, the N10 and N12, right? So the standard target to rule out the near point of accommodation is the top smallest line which is N5. So we have to carry out the near point of accommodation test both monocularly and binocularly. And if you, if you want to find out the near point of accommodation with the both eyes simultaneously like binocularly, the standard target for the binocular test is the 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 on the top line in the center you can see. And if you want to rule out the near point of accommodation for the right eye, the standard target should be the word every in the last you can see here. And if you want to find out the near point of accommodation for the monocular left eye, the standard target should be the custom, the word custom here. To carry out the binocular test, we have to put this chin rest, cheek rest, sorry, on the inferior orbital margin of the patient, as you can see here. Now, the position of the RF rule should be slightly depressed at 45 degree. To carry out binocular near point of accommodation test, the standard target should be the word THE on the top smallest line. Can you see? The word T H E on the top smallest line? Yes, I can see. Good. And now I will move this target toward your eyes with linear and constant methods. And you will inform me when this word T H E will get blur. You will inform me that it will get blur. Stop, it is getting blur now. Alright. Now blink your eyes two to three times. It's still getting blur? Yes. Okay. Now we'll put this target behind and you will inform me that it would be clear again. Stop, it is clear now. Good. Now we will see the values here. If you can see here, to record the values, you have to put your eyes here at this target. And then you can see there, the near point of accommodation for this patient is almost 8 cm. Right? And if you, want, if, you want, if, you, if you want to find out the diopter's value, we can see the diopteric value here. Right? Now, we will perform the same test with the single monocular eye. And now we are carrying out the monocular test. Now you have to put this on your left eye. Now for the right eye, the standard target should be the word every, E-V-E-R-Y, every on the top smallest line. Can you see the word every on the top smallest yes, line? Yes, I can see. Is it clear? Yes, it is clear. All right. Now again, I will move this target toward your eye and you have to put your eyes on the word every and you will inform me when this word every will get blur.
and we have to move this target very slowly 1 to 2 cm per second. Stop, it is getting blur. Now blink your eyes for 2 to 3 times. Is it still getting blur? Yes, it is blur. Now we will pull back this target and you will inform me when it will get clear again. Stop, it is clear now. Now, now we will record the values from here in centimeter and from here in diopters as well. And we have age scale as well. So we can record the values and now we will repeat the same test, the same monocular test for the right eye, the same monocular test for the left eye and the same test with both eyes open the binocular test. Now to carry out the near point of accommodation for the right eye, for the left eye sorry, we have to occlude the patient's right eye. You have to put this occluder here. And now, the standard target for the left monocular eye, the standard target on the chart is the word custom, C-U-S-T-O-M. The standard target, I am repeating, the standard target for the left monocular eye, the standard target should be the word custom on the top and five smallest line. Now, you have to put the your left eye on the word custom. Can you see clearly? Yes, it is clear. Now, again, I will pull this target toward your eye and you will inform me when this word custom will get blur. And again, with very slowly and in constant and linear manners. You will inform me when this word custom will get blur you will stop me. Stop, it is getting blur. Now you have to blink two to three times. Is it clear or not? Not. Alright, now I pull back. Inform when it will get clear again. Stop, it is clear now. Alright. So you will repeat this test three times for the left eye, three times for the right eye and three times for the both eyes binocularly. And you will record the values from here. This is the standard point from where you can record the values. Hope this is clear. We have discussed everything, every aspect of this near point accommodation and all the values in this video are imaginary for the learning purposes. And in the next video, we will learn about that how to document the near point of accommodation and near point of convergence on our description.